Yeah. Um, it was interesting just <laughs> sort of researching this uh, the turkey story. I mean, now they take about two months before they reach their <laughs> ideal weight. <laughs> Female turkeys between four and five, um, four to five kilos, whereas the male turkeys grow to about six to seven kilos as ideal weight. So um, yeah. I suppose we wouldn't know what we were buying in the supermarkets, would we? No. No, no. so it's just a bit of potluck, I suppose. Turkey's quite a, a <clears throat> famous sort of <clears throat> meat that is used in Lombardia and, of course, in uh, my hometown of uh, Venezia. And uh, tonight, actually, we're going to talk about the traditional um, recipe that comes from Venezia being uh, paeta with melegrano, melegrano being pomegranate. Now, Michele, it might be an idea to show our viewers what a pomegranate looks like. Now, let me just tell you, they are out of season currently. They don't come back into season until April, May, and these are the Californian variety. They've Should got I a very one? firm... Yeah, absolutely. Really firm skin. They're a beautiful-looking fruit and um, really juicy, very blood-like in terms of colour. And uh, absolutely to die for. But look at these. What an unusual fruit. And the tartness of this works terribly well with uh, turkey. Um, but just so you can see, you can see all the little granules there, and there's all this, like, webbing. Uh, within it, so you just sort of break it through, very easy. Um, now it's I'm going to go on the turkey, so there's no problem yeah, with that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, now um, a couple of suggestions to make sure, not even with turkey, but even in, in other meat that are actually not really fattening, that's what the problem is. Yes. Uh, now, you get a piece of pancetta, this is the flat pancetta. Mm, which we've talked about in our previous shows, and you lard the turkey with this pancetta. Yeah, mm. the best thing to do is, uh, uh, what you do, you know, you just get a nice... Uh, all day. It cuts very easily, doesn't it, Michele? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm, beautiful. Look at that. Just going to stuff this up. Oh, yum. Look at that. Then, Do I get to take this home, Michele? Uh, For all my children. I've got lots of them <laughs> that I feed. Nothing in Gippsland. I didn't know that. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'll share with you this you year. Can, you can, you, if you want to, I mean, not especially with turkey. I don't think there's any need to be turkey because it's going to be a little bit delicate meat with the sauce. Mm -hmm. and if you do a lamb, you can do this and also put garlic inside, the yes. rosemary, you know, and leave it there. But the secret is not, not, not really to make it tender, but to give flavor like in lamb or other, or other meat. All the meat yes. Leave it there overnight. Always mm -hmm. the secret to actually make sure you do a really thin paste of herbs and, uh, and garlic and leave it there overnight, okay? So it gets more flavor. That's, yes. that's the only thing. Yes, through all those. Mm. Yeah, and now what are we going to do? We're going to tie this up, of course. Ah, is there another technique? Uh, with this one, you can use uh, the, probably the normal way. Okay. Which is nice. Just good being shown by a chef how to do it the normal way, whatever the normal way is. It's not such a thing, you know, no. nowadays. Fantastic. So you just tie this up. Just look at those pomegranates, yeah. Mika. I love the colour of them. You could actually even use them for desserts, you know. I remember I was... Uh, at a cooking show once and they got all the little seeds and just dotted them around desserts and stuff. Are you doing stuff? a cooking show without me? What's going on? <laughs> I'll never leave you, okay. Kelly. Will you leave me? No, no, never. Oh, Edie, did you hear that? At least okay. for this year, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, you see what I did? I just put a, you know, this is, it's easy because and then what you do, you just make it go over there mm -hmm. and then uh, you have to go over this, mm -hmm. okay? There we go. Okay, so you've got this, and you keep going. Now, in this way, it's probably easier, but at the same time, it's not like as tight as the other one. Right. The other one, you can actually tie it up straight away on the... Beautiful. Okay. ...each time. It always looks easy, but I know that, I don't know, it's just a hard technique to master that, isn't it? And like a friend of ours, you say, be careful, because sometimes, you know, some chefs that are really good at this, they end up with their hand inside the string, so... <laughs> <laughs> Always cut the string, you know, don't cook your hand. It can happen to chefs, it can happen to us. And huh? then at the end, the last one, you know, just go back to the first one where you actually, you and know, because cook. it's always going to slip a little bit. Okay. Okay, and this one. Go. Now, I want to ask you a question, Michele. And always start it up here, you see? Ah, so that's why you left a little bit on the end. Yeah. Nah. I think it's always go back what sauce are you going to use as well. Ah, okay. Now, I mean, we can salt the turkey, but then again, probably I will do it on the skin, maybe. Yes. But you, okay. you always have but to be not careful. On the, on because the, on it's, the uh, we're using a breast. We're not using the old, the old animal. Okay. And um, <clears throat> now, in this case, again, usually a normal roast, what you will do now, if you've got a leg of uh, lamb or a veal, you actually fry it off in the fry pan, really hot, mm -hmm. get the nice crispy, and then yes. put it in the oven. Yeah. For the same reason, you've got a breast of turkey, you don't want to dry up too much. So you just put it in the oven, really hot, 
okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, let's say around uh, 190, 200 degrees. Mm -hmm. And always remember, any roast that you're doing, always take out the, the actual meat a little bit before it's completely cooked. And because, then the cooking process continues yes. as it's cooling down. Because if you take it out when it's cooked already, by the time you warm it up, your cut is going to be dry, very, yes. very dry. Yes. Okay. So this can go. This can go in the really hot oven. We yes. can put a. We can put a little bit of pepper and uh, probably we'll just leave it with pepper. And uh, but then again, always remember. I think the most important thing of when you're doing a, a dish, mm. always remember how you're going to serve it, what you're going to serve it with. Because yes. if you know it's going to be a really delicate sauce, you have to go easy on. Uh, on everything. That's why I didn't even put any herbs in here. No, I've noticed that. Because we're going to do with the pomegranate. The string. And you've larded it with the bacon and that gives it a bit of saltiness yeah. anyway. So what we're going to do, we're going to, uh, you need a little bit of oil in this case, okay? Some nice Nicholas olive oil. To put this pressed Beautiful. In. And uh, um, always a little bit on top, a little bit of good olive oil on top. Mm. Fantastic. And uh, now, Caterina, put it in the oven. Uh, uh, really hot, around the 190. I'm just going to explain you quickly how the you're going sauce, because we haven't got the giblets, so what are we going to use instead, Michele? Also, because I'm sure no one wants to see us eating tonight anyway. They'll all, they all be there enjoying themselves yeah. and, you know, probably half asleep. Yeah. Now, pomegranates. Just pick all your po pomegranates, okay? Don't eat it and spit it out, just pick it. And then you put it in uh, water and a little bit of uh, sugar, and you just boil it off till you reduce them. Now, you can actually, my suggestion is, Cook it off for around uh, uh, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and then what you can do, you can actually uh, put it into a food processor, okay? Puree, the, try to puree because you want, and then you strain it, okay? That's a so, that's Take actual it sauce. The seeds. Okay. The same time, you get some other seeds that you're going to use as garnish on top. Yes. And what you do, you add to this all the juices from the uh, from the pot from of the. Pan. the of the turkey. You get all the flavours of the meat through the pan juices. Yeah, and then make sure you always strain uh, the fat from your pan. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, you might add some uh, white wine if you want some stock. Add this and just have your turkey like that and uh, you're going to enjoy it. Mm, Kelly, that smell of that pork and that turkey is just coming right at me. Now, how long has it been in the oven for me, Kelly? Now, the pork has been in the oven one hour and a half. Mm -hmm. And the turkey, you probably need 45 minutes. Of and the turkey, if you a piece like this, it's around uh, probably for uh, the price that people will pay outside, it's around $40. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm sure you can fit um, uh, even six people for a big, uh, mm -hmm. I'll say even seven for a big uh, uh, breast like this. Mm -hmm. And again, um, um, I mean, then you have to add your sauce and everything, and uh, your side dishes, some potatoes, and, uh, and uh, whatever you think. Mmm. Um, big thank you to you, Michele, because that was wonderful. I am looking forward to it. Thank you. And also a big thank you to David. Uh, he is the man behind the music. He is the composer. He is the coordinator. He is many things, aren't he? Yeah, something like that. Something yeah, looking like forward that. forward to uh, composing a new fresh uh, batch of music for next year's show. Oh, wonderful. Buenas tardes.